Hello and welcome to Forever Motorsports. My name is Reese, and today we'll be speaking about the Liberty Media CEO Greg Maffey's apology to the residents of Las Vegas. But before we get into that, do be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so that you can be notified when we upload the latest Formula One news. Liberty Media CEO Greg Maffey has apologized to the residents of Las Vegas for the disruption caused by the preparation for the Grand Prix. Work has been ongoing for months in Nevada to resurface the strip as well as construct the paddock and pit facilities for the Grand Prix, which has had a knock-on effect of delays and diversions for the local residents. Trees have been removed while the world-famous Bellagio fountains have been blocked from view due to the grandstands that have been constructed there. But there are also been complaints about the high prices for tickets and hospitality packages, with some going for millions of dollars. Matthew, though, has apologized to the residents of Las Vegas. I want to apologize to all the Las Vegas residents, and we appreciate that they have had their forbearance and their willingness to tolerate us. We're going to bring something like $1.7 billion, though, of revenue to the area, so it is not just for the benefit of the fans who want to view the race. We hope this is a great economic benefit in Las Vegas, and we hope that this is the most difficult year with all the construction that went on and that things will be easier in the future. There will be at least 105,000 people, so the sheer scale of it, even for Las Vegas, will be the largest event of the year. There's a launch party from Wednesday to Sunday, almost a week long of events and musical acts. You know, you're seeing sports figures from other sports having their own kind of side viewing parties. A lot of the high prices though, frankly comes from the costs that are not entirely ours. I'm not begrudging our partners, but you know, five night minimums in hotels and things like that helped push up the costs. Not all of it's just been pricing of tickets. The experience of that, and frankly the fact that there's been so much demand, is what drives it. Well, the demand has certainly not been there in the last few weeks as the ticket prices have been falling by almost 80% for certain days. And we're certainly hoping to get great viewings for this Grand Prix race weekend, but you have to think of the residents who have been affected by the lead up to this Grand Prix race weekend. Of course, next year should be a little bit less of a disruption for the residents as all of the pit lanes and pit buildings have at least been constructed. But we have to ask in the future how to minimize the effect on the residents in Las Vegas. We're certainly looking forward to this race weekend. It should provide some great racing for us. Of course, though, with those low temperatures being expected, that could put a bit of a spanner in the works. Do be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Formula One content. And do be sure to let us know in the comment section who you are supporting for this Las Vegas Grand Prix race weekend. I've been Reese on Forever Motorsports. Cheers.